NFC based hacking, hacking ADMs using mobile devices, malware infestations, phishing attacks. I mean guys, right now as the technology in the world keeps advancing, hackers use more innovative methods to steal our data. Welcome guys to another series of Tech Unboxing. In today's Tech Unboxing, we're going to be taking a look at the USB data blocker. So this USB data blocker is a very cool product which protects your phone from a hacking technique called juice jacking. So what is juice jacking? Let's say I want to travel out of the country and then I go to the airport. I start watching movies and videos on my phone, my phone's battery is running low and I see a public charging port. I don't have my AC adapter with me, I just have my phone's USB. So I go plug in my phone's USB into the charging port thinking that it's going to charge my phone. And yes, it does charge my phone but what happening in reality is that my phone's data is also getting siphoned onto an external device like an SD card which is being contained within that USB port or hackers are accessing the data through some other means. So in this video we're going to take a look at the cool features the USB data blocker has to offer, what is the USB data blocker and we're going to also going to test the device to make sure that it, this device only allows charge to a phone and no data is being transmitted from my phone to any other device. So let's start unboxing this product to see how this product actually works. So first hand looking at the USB data blocker, it kind of looks like a flash drive. The only thing is that it doesn't store any data, but it prevents my data from being siphoned by someone else. Pretty cool. So this product kind of looks, kind of acts like a condom for mobile phones. So the other side has a female adapter port. And then over here you have a male adapter port. So I'm going to be showing you how this data blocker can be plugged onto your AC adapter and how your phone's USB can be plugged onto this. So there I have my AC adapter. I'm going to remove my phone's USB and then I'm going to plug in my data blocker inside my AC adapter. So that's the male part of the USB which is going to fit inside my AC adapter. There we go. And then I'm going to fit in my phone's USB inside the female adapter port of the data blocker. So there we go. So the data blocker acts like a gatekeeper allowing only charge to get transmitted from the charger port into my phone and there's no transmission of data at all. Okay. It does this cool feature. How does it do it? It's not magic which is going on over here which, by which the data blocker is only allowing, only allowing charge and not data. Let's find out. So closer examining the pins over here I see that there are only two pins on my data blocker on my left hand side and my right hand side and then I see in my phone's USB I see four pins so let's take a look at the pin diagrams to make sure how this device actually works alright so this is a close up view of the iPhone's USB A cable and also the data blocker. So looking at the pins of the USB-A, I see that there are four pins. We have the ground, we have the power supply pin, and then we have the data pins. Looking at the data blocker, we just see that there is the ground and the power supply pins, which means that when you fit these devices together, the, the only charge is getting transmitted, but there's no data lines, so data does not get transmitted. Pretty cool feature by which data blocker protects us from the phishing attack. Alright, so now let's take a look at the test. So in this test what we're going to be doing is that we're going to charge my phone using the data blocker. So why am I doing this test is to make sure the data blocker actually works and does what it's supposed to be doing. So picking up this product for four dollars I'm very skeptic about how this product will work or will the product even work. So I just connected in it inside my AC adapter connecting it to the socket and I want to just see whether my phone is getting charged through this device. So I plug in my phone's USB make sure the USBs are fitting perfectly and then I'm going to plug it inside my socket connect the other end of the wire into my phone and let's find out whether the data blocker is working Turn it on, there we go, charging is complete. So it means that the data blocker is charging my phone and that's the indication that my phone is getting charged. Now, to see whether the data blocker is actually preventing the flow of data from my phone to any external device, 
what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be connecting my data blocker into a Surface Pro 7 laptop and then I'm going to see where there's any flow of data between both devices. So how does this test work is that I'm going to be connecting my phone's USB through a data blocker to my Surface Pro 7 and the second case without a data blocker into my Surface Pro 7. So an expectation what should be happening is that when I connect my phone's USB into the Surface Pro 7, the Surface Pro 7 should identify that my phone is connected and it should be giving me a notification. In the second case, it should not. So I power on my Surface Pro 7. You're going to be taking a look at my Surface Pro 7 screen on the left hand side and my phone screen on the right hand side to show the charge indication. There we go. I plugged it in and I see that my Surface Pro 7 is detecting my Apple iPhone and my phone is charging. Perfect. That's a perfect test. And you also get the message on the iPhone which says that allow this device to access photos and videos. Perfect. Now let's do a test without the data blocker. No, with the data blocker. So I'm connecting my USB to the data blocker, plugging it in, and let's find out. There we go. My phone is getting charged, but wait, I don't see an indication on my Surface Pro 7 which tells me that my iPhone is connected. So what happens is that the data blocker only allows charging pins to get connected to the Surface Pro 7 charging port and only transmits charge, but then there is no data flow between two devices, which is pretty impressive of the data blocker. Now let's take a look at some cool tips which you can use when you're going to be charging your phone in public places and you don't have the data blocker in hand. So these are some of the alternative techniques. So the first one is that you always use a wall adapter, carry an AC adapter along with you, always carry a power bank to charge your phone and when you connect it to an AC USB port and you get this message, be precautious meaning that someone is siphoning your device. 